Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Haven't built anything in a while just for fun, so I was messing around with uh, an ultrasonic module this afternoon. What this is, it's an ultrasonic transmitter receiver module. I've got a 555 timer on the board that's sending a 40 kilohertz signal through the transmitter. And when something obstructs the field of view of the TXRX module, the sent uh, transmission signal is bounced back and received and amplified by the receiver transducer, which is then turned into a square wave and sent to um, my 74LS123 retriggerable monostable multivibrator circuit. So when a single pulse is bounced back, uh, the output of the monostable multivibrator circuit goes high for a predetermined amount of time and it can be re-triggered as many times as possible. Uh, you can change the delay based on an RC component here. In this case, I've got a 100K ohm uh, resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. It's a really easy circuit. I mean, you've got three different blocks in this diagram, and every time you break the field, the buzzer will go off. So that's the delay. You can make the delay longer. But in this case, I was just doing this for fun. You can set this up to a security system. Uh, really easy circuitry. Again, all you need to all you need to power this is five volts uh, ground, uh, a 40 kilohertz signal provided by a 555 timer, and then either a microprocessor, or in this case, a multi monostable multivibrator circuit. And you don't need to use the uh, LS7. Uh, 74 LS123. You can use another. You can use another. Uh, um, if you want, you can use a uh, another 555 timer because 555 timers can be used in A stable and monostable mode. In A stable mode, they send square waves. In monostable mode, it can be used as a retriggerable or a no a, a one shot multi monostable multi vibrator. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, if you have a chance in the new year, check out uh, in the new year check out engineeringshock.com. We've got tons of our own kits coming, ones that we design in house, and uh, they're all going to be pretty cool. So have a look, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.